By the way, I think Rick and Michonne is probably the worst couple I have ever seen in The Walking Dead. And there are a lot of bad couples. We had Ed and Carol, Shane and Lori. Hell, we even had Andrea and the governor. But I don't think there's ever been a worse couple than Rick and Michonne. It's just such force. It's just, it's, it looks like something that came out of a fan fiction, right? I don't understand why they had to kill off Andrea like that. It really was pointless wh- wh- why they did that. It was to differentiate themselves from the comic books, which is fine. I like that they differentiate themselves from the comic books. Like, killing Shiva, they, it was just a straight play from the comic books. And killing Glenn was just a straight play from the comic books. And a lot of people like that. Well, yay, it follows the comic books. I'm a big fan of the comics, and I like to see my favorite scenes from the comic book series to transfer over to the small screen. I love that. Well, that's good for you. I do think that some instances following the comics is very much appropriate. Like with Negan, a lot of his famous lines are ripped straight from the comic book, except he drops a lot more F-bombs in the comic series. But we'll get into the whole comic versus TV show perhaps another day. The point I'm trying to make is that why do they have to take out the whole Rick and Andrea thing from the comic books? Like there's certain things that make sense to not include in the show that were in the comic books. And including things that were not in the comic books, like Daryl, for example. That was obviously a good choice. But this whole Rick and Michonne thing is just randomly put together. They had no real romantic chemistry before this. There was not not even a hint. You could tell that it was just put up together last second because there was no foreshadowing. There was no even hint that they were ever going to get together. They were friendly towards each other. doesn't mean they're going to fuck. It's like the friendship between a straight man and a lesbian. I know I know Michonne's not a lesbian, but obviously it's a different dynamic than two straight people of the opposite sex forming a friendship. Obviously there could be some kind of thing going on, but really Michonne just seems like Rick's wingman for a while. You know what I mean? She didn't really seem like a, even remotely possible that she could be a romantic interest for Rick. It was just so randomly put together it's and it's not even a good it's not even a good dynamic honestly i really do not care about rick and michonne i can't name one good scene they've had together they're just so awkward as a couple i don't know why they decided to do it i really don't it's because she was the only woman left for rick why not maggie that would be interesting maybe not now because she's still carrying glenn's baby and she's still mourning his loss but somewhere down the line do like rick and maggie or something right and before before we, I know I'm going to get accused of being a racist because you do not want to see a white man with a black woman or anything like that. Because I see a lot of fans of Rishon always like to play that card that, oh, you don't like them as a couple? You must be a racist. No, I just don't like bad writing. It's as simple as that. But I do think that Carol and Ezekiel would be an interesting couple together. So if it really was a race thing, I wouldn't want to see that happen. But I do. I think Carol and Ezekiel would be a very interesting couple. And I think that should happen some somewhere down the line. It, they're definitely uh, kind of hinting towards it, but not really. But we'll see how that goes. But if I really, if I had to choose the worst couple in the Walking Dead history, uh, in the entire eight plus seasons that, they, that they've been having, I would definitely choose Rick and Michonne. Awful, 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 awful.